<sighs> well, welcome back to the MLS Zone, and this is the weekly review. And what we'll be going through is everything that we naturally go through, but there's a lot going on from managers getting fired, from records being broken. But as normal, let's get into the intro. So let's kick off this video as normal and what we'll be discussing is player of the week and since last video you guys said hey we didn't get the option of voting I'm going to give you some options this week and the first nominee for player of the week I gotta give it to my man Carlos Vela the record breaker for the most goal in the league for one season like this is phenomenal but we're not talking about that right now we are talking about what he did this week in his match. Man banged in three goals and only had four shots on target. Get this, with a total of two key pass, he was a beast. People was like, Zlatan who? Because the only person I saw this week was Carlos Vela. And I have to give a round of applause to LAFC to even sign him. You better keep him for next season. Got to. Now the another nominee I want to put up for vote, it's Frank Kautsky. I could never say this guy's name right, but as normal, he is a great player, right? Um, Let me just get this straight. This man had two goals, one key pass, and four crosses, and he was doing great defensively with six ground tackles. Jesus Christ. Did you hear those stats? Yes. He was really critical, clinical, and critical to that team that he plays in. And if you know, I won't be telling you the team. If you know the guy that I'm talking about, I think I butchered his name. Comment down below. And as normal, you got to like the video. Do it! Just do it! Because this is the only way I could stop eating ramen noodle. Sad, no, yes, it's truly a sad. But that is the two nominees for this week. I have to give it to Carlos Vela and Frank. Can't pronounce his name, so I'm gonna call him Frank. Now go vote. Be a good citizen and go vote. Now, as normal, we're gonna hear to be talking about the talk of the town. Now there's a lot of things going on with talk of the town. But there's a video coming out on Wednesday, so be ready for that one. That one I think you're gonna like. It's about playoffs, hint, hint. But the talk of the town is this man getting fired. Yes, James is gone. The Orlando City manager got sacked. Yes, his record is not so good. As you see right here, he has 57 games that he played and I won't even say how much games he won because those are disgusting numbers to even come out of my mouth. Now, to be honest, I think he should coach the U.S. Man national team. Some people are really fucking stupid. <laughs> that, it probably will be better than what this guy's doing. Because I don't know how they, he hasn't got sacked yet. Yeah, Greg Barhalter, I, I, just, I just don't know. But, as normal, do you think Orlando City was too rash in their decision of firing James? Comment down below, or if you do believe that it was justified, hit that like button. As for me, I think it was justified, so I'm gonna hit that like button. But even with that being said, there still is one more talk of the town. Yes, this week has been a heated week. The other talk of the town is Carlos Vela. Breaking my man Joseph Martinez record from last season by goals in season meaning he bent in as much goals as possible this season to break joseph martinez record impressive and yes you want to say carlos Vidal should be in europe because he's doing this and he's doing that and it's only mls and i'm saying shut the hell up he broke the record congratulate the man and move the hell on don't be a hater and yes i'm talking to you la galaxy fans and you Atlanta United fan applause people when they do well <laughs> so 
like me. Applaud me by hitting the like button. Now, the next thing I want to discuss is team of the week. Now, I have two teams of teams of the week. Nominee. I first nominate FC Dallas. Seeing that they played at home and did phenomenally well. I'm saying like, I was dang. That game, I watched. And I was like, damn. Like, it, it was that bad. I mean, they scored six goals. Yeah, six goals. Six, zero. And you're saying, who's the team that got six goals in their net? Sporting City, Kansas. It just doesn't get better for them. It just doesn't. But I want to give a round of applause to FC Dallas for playing phenomenally well at their home ground, giving their fans a hell of a show that the fans need. Now, the next nominee, I have to give it to, yes, 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 Houston Dynamo. I think you guys saw this coming because a lot of you guys on the Instagram channel was like, hey, I know who's going to get Team of Louis this week. And I have to give it to the nomination to Houston Dynamo. Seeing that they slapped the hell out of LA Galaxy, even with Zlatan and Pavon playing, they beat them 4-2 in favor of Houston Dynamo. And yes, Houston Dynamo was at home, so they had a home field advantage. As much as you think that is something, sometimes it ain't. Because Houston Dynamo should have never won that match. But who needs Zlatan when you have Christian Ramirez? That man banged in two goals for Houston Dynamos, leading them to victory. Where was Zlatan? Well, some say he was lost, but some say he got to go, so who knows. But those are your two nominations for Team of the Week. Who do you think should get it? FC Dallas or Houston Dynamo? Go vote. Now, as normal, we're here to talk about the loser of the week. Now, it always get me depressed when a team does bad. But when is that my team? Hey, you know, I'm a happy man. Well, the loser of the week this week, it just to get no better for this team at all. Losing their managers this week and also losing their dignity. I'm talking about Orlando City FC. Or, let me not say FC, soccer club, right? Well, this team is just on a rapid downfall. You know, I, I'm seeing that video. Yeah, I'm seeing that video. But you get what I'm saying. Orlando City has not been doing well. They were at home this week and they played Chicago Fires. Now, this game was supposed to be a bang in for them. Like, at least keep a clean sheet or tie the game. That's all the fans ask. But Orlando City let five goals into their net. Jesus Christ. And scored only two. Yes. And you're asking, where's Nani? Nani was nowhere to find. There was no Superman to look for. Nani was shut down. Sadly so, Orlando City lost that game. And there's no other nominees. So I have to give them loser the week but we still have one more thing to discuss and a lot more to talk about and that is wall of the week best team that had the best defensive back line that is wall of the week and i have to give it to this team right here and that is fc cincinnati yeah um just like Orlando City, FC Cincinnati has just gone through hell this year. This year. It's been through hell and back. I get this is their first year in the league and they need time. and But it's a shit show. I don't really even know how they're going to turn this around. Next year, like they, they really got to do a lot. A lot. They really got to do a lot. From not paying players because they don't want them to play... I'm talking about their striker. It's a lot going on. Orlando, not Orlando. FC Cincinnati is getting sued by their striker, I know. So it's, it's it's a lot. The team need reconstruction. And if you need any help, I'm just saying, Chelsea called me up and asked me, can I coach Chelsea after Frank Lampard? And I'm saying, hey, I'm just waiting on the call from FC Cincinnati. If you think I'm the right man for FC Cincinnati, 
hit that like button. See, I give you many opportunities to hit that like button. And as normal, peace, love you, and be here on Wednesday for that playoff video. You're going to love the hell out of it. I can tell you that. See ya. Peace.